Welcome everyone to another edition of the Travel Show with your host Ted Blank of Ted Blank Luxury Travel and Adventure. And he is so adventurous, he has somebody calling in today, which is awesome. We have on the phone with us Jody Murphy. She's the business development manager for the Central Region Seven Seas Cruises. And we could not be more excited to hear about what is going on with your company. Welcome to KDWA, Jody, and great to see you, Ted. Good to be here. Thank you. Jody, first of all, tell us about yourself, please. I've been with Regent for 23 years, and I absolutely love Regent Seven Seas Cruises. So I started when I was 19. I went on my first cruise to Tahiti, and I was sold. I'm, I'm never leaving this place again, this company. I love it. And, and that's really that's a, a true story because here I am, you know, 23 years later, and I love Regent. And it's like that. It's like a family, and it's the same when you get on board with Regent as well. I live in Iowa. Just, you know, people find very shocking when I tell them that, but uh, I am originally from where I live now and, and moved here a couple years ago and married with two wonderful little children. So what was it that intrigued you about going on a cruise? Was it to see the most of the world as you could in a short period of time? You know, I graduated high school, left Regent. I mean, this was my very first job in this career, and... We had the opportunity, myself and two other girls that I worked with, to go to Tahiti at the time, which was on the Paul Gauguin, and we had that ship in our fleet at the time, and we did the Tahiti cruises, and it was just like, sure, I'll go to Tahiti, why not? (laughs) Twist my arm. And Yeah, I mean, we're just kids, I don't know, I didn't really know if I knew what to expect or and knew what that experience would be, but... Starting out on a luxury cruise line the first time ever, it just, you know, blew my mind. It was the best experience I ever had. Well, you know, that's something that Ted has told me is that there really is a difference in cruise lines. And I think sometimes people say, gosh, I'm not sure if a cruise is right for me. And Ted's come back to that is you're not on the right cruise line. (laughs) (laughs) It's true. It's true. So, Ted, tell us about what you think of Region. Well, so I actually just came back from a Region cruise as well. It wasn't to Tahiti. That's that's still on my bucket list, but it was to the Mediterranean. And so we had 10 days to explore Italy and Greece and the Greek Isles and Turkey. And it, it's just a wonderful experience. And I think, first of all, obviously you have these incredible destinations. And it would be interesting sometime, Jody, to actually make a list of every single port that Regent goes to in a year. I mean, the number of places you can go on a Regent cruise is just incredible. But beyond that, it's just the experience. And we'll talk a little bit about what makes Regent different as we go. But you just really have this incredible sense of well-being. Everything is taken care of. You have gorgeous accommodations, super friendly, helpful, courteous staff, Great food. I mean, out of this world food. We actually had a three-star Michelin chef on board the cruise as a special guest. So it really literally doesn't get any better than that. And you're going to some of the most incredible places in the world. And, you know, it was 100 degrees. And so literally we sweated. But the vacation itself, you don't break a sweat. And it just really makes it interesting and enjoyable and, and a great experience to discover the world, you know, in total comfort with everything included. And that really is what a cruise is, isn't it? You want people to not have to think about anything. Yeah, yeah. I think you want to not not have to think about anything when you're traveling. You know, do the planning Mm -hmm. beforehand. And I think one of the things that that really does make Regent unique, and Jody can speak to this a little bit, but you can almost leave your wallet at home. There are almost nothing that isn't included in a Regent Seven Seas cruise. That's a big deal. It's a big deal. And Jody, do you want to kind of walk through some of the inclusions that Regent offers? Sure. It is just that so many people don't understand the true value that Regent Seven Seas Cruises offers. And, you know, you see a price and, and sometimes, I mean, that, that's a higher price than maybe some of these other cruise lines. But we include literally everything. So, I mean, if you're flying to Europe like Ted did, we include business class air on your intercontinental flight. We include economy air on domestic flights. We include your specialty dining, so there's no packages that you have to purchase, no additional charges with that. We include shore excursions. There's over 2,000 free unlimited shore excursions that we include 
on our cruises. So, and, and that's the most stressful go. part: deciding which which of the included shore excursions you want to take, because <laughs> it's not just one. You know, each port has yeah. anywhere from five to ten to fifteen included excursions, and and we had some just great ones on this last cruise. You know, we went to a farm in Croatia and mm-hmm. got to try the local moonshine that I don't remember what the name of it was, but it's uh, Rakia, I think it's like ninety-seven proof <laughs> Croatian <laughs> liquor. But we do, no, no memories after that. But no, the, the choices of excursions is really amazing, and I think you know when people are thinking about going on cruises, shore excursions are a really important part of it, and to have a choice of really really well done excursions you don't have to worry you know you can't make a wrong yep. choice when it comes to the excursions so is that a lot of what you do Jody is you vet some of these excursions and different choices to make it the best experience possible for people no unfortunately we have other people that handle those for excursions and and curate and create those for our clients and and like Ted said, I mean, there's multiple included shore excursions in every port of call, and they're not just, but they're not just like a city tour, a bus tour, or a walking tour. There's some really neat tours that we include. There, there was one that I didn't take that I kind of now, in retrospect, wish I would have taken. But on those last cruise we were on, we stopped in the port of Messina, which is on the island of Sicily. And, of course, you know who the most famous Sicilian is. Not Papa Murphy. Somebody said that to me. But it's the Godfather. I was just going to so say. <laughs> there is actually a Godfather tour that you can take that shows you all the places from the movies. So the churches and the, they would always say like, here was a church and here was a massacre. So it's kind of a, you know, interesting, yeah, interesting On the steps of the church Yeah, sometimes. exactly. Yeah. yeah. But, it, but you really can, you know, do something different. We didn't do that. We went to a Roman amphitheater mm-hmm. up in the hills in a place called Termina. And it probably had the most incredible view of Mount Etna the volcano that you can imagine. Mm. So, you know, they had tours of wineries and and just really anything you could imagine in Sicily. And the majority of those tours are included with the price of the cruise. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah, but not only that, I mean, we include, so with the dining, but we include alcohol, uh, specialty wine, premium liquors. We include bottled water, specialty coffee, freshly squeezed juice at breakfast. All of those things that add up on these other cruise lines as well. And I don't know, Ted, I think we talked our, one of our newer inclusions is free valet laundry, and oh. I got the use out of that when I was on in July, and I think that you did too with all that sweating. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> best best included amenity ever is complimentary laundry because, you know, it was a it was a several t shirt a day habit because it was pretty hot in these ports of call. And and you know, one of the other nice things is when you would get back to the ship, there was somebody waiting there with a cold towel to hand to you as you board. So really, really, really That's fancy. Nice. Yeah. And, and, you know, one of the other things that we, we should mention, too, is the size of the ships mm-hmm. makes a big difference. Yes. Um, Regent's ships are relatively small. I think is the biggest ship carry about 800 passengers. Am I right on that, Jody? 746, yeah. Seven, 746. Okay. So getting on and getting off is pretty simple, straightforward, uncrowded. The ship is never crowded. Um, they can visit ports that other bigger ships can't oh, sure. go to. And so we had a chance to go to this place that I'd never even heard of in Greece. Um, it's called Githio. Nobody will remember that. But we took the neatest shore excursion there. And we were the only cruise ship in port. We were the only one that could fit in the harbor because, you know, it's a pretty small port. So you're not just seeing the main attractions. You need to do some things that other people aren't able to do. Mm-hmm. The size of the ship, like had mentioned, our average crew to guest ratio is one to one point four, and that is huge. And, and that really sets us apart from other cruise lines out there. And when you are on board, and uh, and me just being in Alaska, the ship was full, a full sailing, and you would never know walking around the ship that it was full. It, there's not crowds of people everywhere. It's just you would think that it was half full. It is. <laughs> it's just a and a, just a different experience. And I think that a lot of people have their thoughts or, you know, their impression of luxury. And that might scare them a little bit, but luxury can mean so many different things to so many different people. It could just be not having to get out your credit card to sign for a drink or a coffee or, you know, any time that you want something like that. It could it could be just having the smaller people in the short excursion. I mean, it, it could be so many different things, but... The whole experience, it's very elevated, and the guests on board 
they're just everyday people like us, you know, normal Midwesterners, I think, and everyone that I've met. And they're just looking to check off these things from their bucket list. And with Regent, too, and another misconception, when it's a luxury cruise line, how people believe that it might be pretentious on board and very fancy and dressy, but ultimately there are no formal nights on board a Regent cruise. There are not even jackets and ties required. The dress code in the evening is country club casual, essentially, where men would wear slacks and a collared shirt. So no jeans in the dining room or tennis shoes, and it's, it's pretty simple. Yeah, it is interesting to talk to the other other passengers on the ship, and certainly there is a always a cadre of very loyal Regent guests who are on their fifth or their tenth mm-hmm. or their thirty fifth Regent cruise. You know, some of these people have more than a thousand nights on board the cruise line. But it's also interesting to talk to people who are on their first cruise, who this is the first cruise they've ever taken, and, and you know, talk a little bit about why they never went on a cruise before. And then you meet a lot of people who have taken other cruises, maybe on larger cruise ships, you know, kind of the mass market or even the premium level cruise lines, and they want to elevate the experience and they want to try something new and different and they gravitate towards region. And so it's a great trade up for people who are experienced mm-hmm. cruisers, but for people who are never cruised, and that's a, that's a good story, Jody. you know, once you had electric windows, it's hard to trade down <laughs> again. And, you know, starting out on Regent, that uh, <laughs> it's hard to trade down to a different cruise line after that, I would think. You know, I think a lot of people don't even know, though, that there is uh, such a difference. And when you started talking about all the things that are included in your price, Jody, that's pretty impressive. You know, I think about a flight. Most cruises just say what the cruise is, and then you add the flight later, and that can be a hit of a thousand more dollars at least. Business class flight to Europe is probably three to five thousand. There you go. So that's incredible Mm -hmm. that all of that is included. Yeah, and I think yeah. one of the one of the things that, that the cruise lines like Regent, you know, they don't invest their money in big mass market advertising campaigns because it's a different product and it's a different experience and a different way of talking to customers mm-hmm. because they're going to have a lot of questions because the price tag is higher, the inclusions are, are a lot more, and to understand that value, you know, that's really what a travel advisor like me can do is help to interpret that value so you can compare this cruise to this cruise. They're not really apples to apples, but what, but what are the similarities and why is this maybe more expensive cruise at the end of the day a better value for you or a better fit or both? Right, right. And that's why it's so important to work with a travel advisor just like Ted because they've done all of these things and experienced so many different products that they can tell you exactly what it will be like. Yeah. So we will give a little preview here, but we are hosting an event on Sunday, September 17th at 6.30 p.m. in downtown Hudson at a place called Lucky Guys Distillery. Ooh. So we're going to have an event where Jody and I are going to both be there, and we're going to kind of talk in more depth about Region 7 Seas Cruises, talk about where they go, talk about the inclusions, talk about the value. I and mean, we have some really neat dessert and craft cocktail pairings as well. So stick around and we'll tell you how to sign up for that event if you'd like. We love that. Tell me about this place that where you're having it sounds intriguing. It is. It is an intriguing place. It's a uh, distillery in downtown Hudson okay. and they make all sorts of handcrafted spirits. Everything from rum to gin to ouzo and everything in between. So the owner is a guy named Guy actually and it's quite a nice place and he's got an interesting story and we thought it'd be the perfect place to host oh, a little I love it. get together yeah jody i think this sounds awesome and with a name like, like murphy you can't miss out on that <laughs> i know i was just thinking i said i wonder if i could bring something home with me <laughs> you know that was actually a common question on the cruise because we were in italy and people would want to go ashore in italy and buy some nice italian wines and people were wondering how many they could bring back with them. And the great thing about What's a business class, well, the great thing about a business class airline ticket is that you have two check bags of up to 70 pounds. So you can fit a lot of wine oh, 70 in pounds. 70 pounds. Yeah, you know? you and, can. you know, the other nice thing, I just have to go back to the, the complimentary laundry service. I came back with a suitcase full of clean clothes. I didn't have to do laundry when I got home. That's awesome. And, and I don't know about you, but that's almost priceless. It, no kidding. Because <laughs> you hit the ground running after a yeah. trip. And yeah. laundry is the last thing you would need exactly. to be worrying about. Yeah. But if you're anything like my husband, we get all of our laundry done. And then he comes home and then rewashes it. I mean, it's <laughs> but, I'm not an overachiever like no. that. So I didn't do that. <laughs> so what else would you like our listeners to know about your company, Jody? 
last year in 2022 was our 30th anniversary. So, you know, we did start at a, a different name way back when um, we were Radisson Seven Seas Cruises and then now Regent Seven Seas Cruises. But we're a 30-year-old company. We've got a brand new ship actually coming this November called Seven Seas Grandeur. So uh, this ship is absolutely gorgeous. It will be our third ship in our new class series of ships and all suites, all balcony, which, you know, we forgot to mention. I mean, we have only one ship that has anything other than balconies, which are two categories with window suites. So there's nothing inside. It, imagine just having a balcony and being able to enjoy that and sit out on it and, and just, just have a wonderful experience. It, it truly is wonderful. We had coffee on the balcony as we sailed into Santorini. Watch the sunrise in Santorini. And as Jody said, they are suites. They're oversized staterooms. Very, very well appointed, spacious, and a nice, beautiful balcony. And, of course, complimentary room service as well. So you don't even have to make your own cup of coffee. You just call room service and they deliver it to you. It's great. It's a great thing. <laughs> yeah. I know. What's the longest cruise that you have, Jody? How long is your world? The World Cruise 2026 is 154 nights. I could do that. 154 nights. No kidding. I think I would probably go through withdrawal at the end, though. Mm -hmm. I'd get up and pick up my phone <laughs> yes. next to my bed, and nobody would answer. And <laughs> can you imagine? Nobody's bringing me my breakfast. Exactly. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Jody, really nice to meet you. Continued success to you. Thank you. You too, Mo. Thank you. Jody Murphy, she is with Regent Seven Seas Cruises, and also our friend Ted Blank is the host of this show.